this project Spore 2.0. This is the most recent iteration of a project that we started back uh, in the early 2000s uh, at the beginning of what we know to be now the U.S. housing boom or the beginning of the bubble. This project is a self-contained um, ecosystem for a rubber tree plant purchased from Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot's uh, a massive home improvement store. And one of Home Depot's strategies is they guarantee all of the plants that they sell for one year. So if they die for any reason, you just bring the dead plant's body in and they will replace it with a free one. So what this project does is it connects that plant slash product with the life of the corporation that sold it to us. So once a week, this enclosure monitors and checks the Home Depot stock value. If the stock went up, then the plant receives water. If the stock doesn't go up, the plant receives no water. And if the plant dies, we return it to the store for a free one. And when we started this project, we were really interested in connecting a corporation to one of its products. And what we discovered is the plant would die, but not because of lack of watering, but because of overwatering. And it became really a pretty important message about the need for sustainable growth in corporations. Because too much water, just like too much growth, is just as bad as too little. And now here we are installing it a human plus, uh, you know, many years later, and um, in a completely different economic climate, uh, testing out that idea again. These corporate organisms are really connected to the physical life of humans and cities and everything. And much like organisms, these corporations are adapting and changing environments so that they can thrive. But the question is, what mechanisms do we have to provide feedback, right? Are, we, are they thriving at the expense of our own health and happiness?